do something. All right, I'll do it. All good right. morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on the show today. We're going to have a good time. Well, me and Dan already been talking this morning, and uh, we got some things lined up for you. So he wants to take over here right now and talk to you and share some things with you. So there you go, Mr. Dan. Hey, good morning, guys. I, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here, and I'm, I'm actually very excited because uh, – uh, Mr. Standers is going to share something with us, and I, and I want to make sure that we record this when he shares it because it was uh, really interesting to me. But before we jump into that, um, I want to I want to just share with you what I'm working on, my next project in my life, uh, a little bit about it because it's um, um, here is a list of my wife and I are starting another band. We're putting together a music show. Uh, we're calling it the Clapton Project. It's a Eric Clapton project okay but all his material anything clapped and covered right so there's a huge a huge catalog of songs right so you see these are the songs that i have done over the years right there's a lot of them right and you see there's a number next to each one and the reason i'm sharing this with you, i'm sharing with you how to how to practice because you take on a project like i we got to put together you know 30 songs or something like that to have a show right so how do you do that well you have to pick, select what you're going to work on, and then I number them. And then the ones that are not, we start working on. So last night, for instance, we sang for an hour together, my wife and I. Right? We sing for an hour. I record it all. And then I sit down from, from uh, 9 to 10. I was watching TV, and I was listening to what we did. Right? Now, I know from doing that that there's certain aspects of, of the different songs that I have to work on more than others. Typically for me is endings. Endings are important. Beginnings and beginnings I'm I'm good on. Endings I have to work on. Then you select little pieces of songs that you have to focus on. So you don't work. For instance, you don't start singing <laughs> singing 30 songs. It doesn't work like that. You can't do it. It's the same thing. Same thing for you guys. The way to learn this stuff that we're working on is just pick one piece. Pick one little piece, like here. Become a man, become an expert over the next 30 days. Become an absolute expert at this CFR piece. When you got that in your bones, I mean, it's like you don't even have to think about it, right? It's just like singing. When the when the music starts, I can't think about it. I can't be reading something. <laughs> That's not how it works. Not if you want to have a good show. Same thing for you guys. You're in show business. Take this one little box, box one, right? And after you master that, then go down to box 1A on tires, right? And and master this piece right here. What type of vehicle, you know, that's a great car. And, and become a master at this conversation for possibilities about tires. And after you get that down, then go down and make sure that you master, master the conversation for action right here. Master it. And if you approach it like this a little bit at a time and become masterful, it's gonna is a. It's gonna be easy to do it, and and you, you you're really gonna master it over time. And that's that's my advice today. Little bit, little bites, and um, and practice, practice, practice. That's my message for today, Randy. Okay. Well, you want to let Michael share his deal? Yeah, I think this would be a great way to start it. Michael, you ready to go? Share with me the the. You said you had an epiphany last Friday when we spoke. Uh, yes, sir, I did, and, and by no means am I uh, up to where I need to be on this power talk, you know, but uh, I had the opportunity last week to uh, take a call and actually use Box 1 and the first half of Box 1A, and, uh, you know, I had the guy looking for a price on tires, and he had been quoted by Sam's, and you know, he was wanting to keep the cost of four tires somewhere between six and eight hundred dollars, and uh, he didn't know whether he wanted highway tread or all terrains. And you know, if you're talking all terrains, you're pretty limited there, and uh, to to keep it within that price range. So, you know, I invited him to come by and look at you know what we had in stock, and also look online to see, you know, what kind of uh, what kind of tire he was looking for. He came down on his lunch break. He called at about 9 o'clock in the morning. He came down about 11.30 on his lunch break. I carried him back to the tire room to show him what we had in stock. Uh, you know, I showed him what we had online, what we could get online. And he didn't purchase that day. He's coming in later on this month to purchase. But when he left here, 
he had it in his mind that he was going to spend a thousand dollars and he was going to spend it here awesome and what created the so the thing that what created the shift because he was a, a ardent price shopper when he started correct correct he was just strictly price shopping and when i got into the power talk i mean you could hear a pin drop i went through the power talk and you know i told him i said we i want to be your car guy and it's not just about these tires but you know i want to be your car guy and that's my mission and as soon as i ended that first half of that power talk he said wow and i said what's that and he said i've never had anybody talk to me like that you know and uh that that's what got him on board to to spend his lunch break down here looking at tires i, I know it was you so he tell. said let me get this straight mike he said to you i've never had anybody speak like that to me before exactly well Think about what he just reported, guys. Here's here's a man. How old was the guy? Uh, early to mid forties. Forties, forty some odd years old, grown man. Right? Never had anybody talk to him like that before, and it moved him. Changed his whole perspective on everything. Right? And then and then the guy said. Look, I want to keep it under $1,000. That's what you told me, Michael. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. So he went from six, seven hundred, eight hundred up to 1000 He expanded his price range on top of it. But he never had anybody talk to him like that. That, to me, that's like, in a way, it's sad when you think about the power that each of us has, and we use a fraction of it as we go through life. And what this program is all about is exactly what, what Michael's reporting. Michael had the courage to do a power talk and express his commitment to take care of this guy. And the guy, the guy was blown away. Never, never had anybody talk to me like that before. Think about it. Anyway, let's get it. Let's jump in. Thank you, Michael. Really. Thank really, you, Michael. Really, That's really, a, and, I, and I agree with Dan. He had the, he had the courage. That's what it really takes. Sometimes it just takes courage to go forth. Uh, just jump in there and go for it because everybody's learning us, but it's it learning that they have that power. We're we're going to do guys and ones that are here that we're going to try to do as many as we can. We're going to do some same basic thing. But what we want to do this time is we're going to do uh, box one, uh, box one A. We're going to the, the, leave the power talk up to you. Okay, it's it's anything goes type thing. And once we get down to that, then we're going to go back to the. Uh, have I got it back, Dan? Yeah. Okay. All right. Once we go back down to that, I'm going to roll down here. <coughs> We're going to uh, let y'all just get, do like you always do and um, make it happen. Uh, just, we're gonna tires, do tires, more. tires. Yep. Yeah, tire, tire, all tire. about tires because we're focusing on tires or, or tire challenge. We're focusing on that. Okay. Yep. So let's be pick some people and I'll try to stay up with you and go as quick as I can. Uh, let me go up here to the, see what I've got at the very top here real quick. I'm sorry. Um, I see Chris. I see David Robson. Chris, are you there, Chris? Chris Gibbons? If you're not, yes, oh, there you are. Okay, Chris, I want you to be. Uh, I want you to be the shop, and I'm gonna let uh, David Robinson. David, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, sir. Call Chris and ask him about some tires. And Chris, you hear what I said? We want to do this work box one and box one A, and then go go down into the into the close. And this, this, it's real time, just whatever about tires, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, go ahead there, Dave. Ring, ling, ling. Yeah, thank you for calling Top Rose. Same day, I'll repair this, Chris. I can help you. Hey, Mr. Chris, I was looking for a set of tires for my pickup truck. I can most sure definitely help you with that. And that's who am I speaking with? My name is Red. All right, Red. And Red, I appreciate you calling. Have you ever done business with me before? Uh, no, sir. I'm just passing through town, and I noticed one of my tires is uh, slick, and so I need to get a set of tires on. I'm traveling through town. I'm just trying to get out of town. Well, Rick, I appreciate you calling, man. You definitely called the right place. Uh, Rick, I have over a million dollars of tires under my disposal uh, to help you out with that. And, Rick, and since you've never done business before, we're located here at 32nd and Sheridan. Uh, man, I on our tire warranties, I cannot be beat on tires. And, and Red, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of tires you have on your vehicle there? Uh, I've got some uh, 
225 Awesome. Are you pretty comfortable with those tires that you have on there? Are you looking for upgrade or what are you kind of looking for? Uh, I'm trying to stay with something about the, uh, what I have on my car now. All right, cool. Well, Red, I do have uh, financing um, options available for you, payment options. Man, uh, low is, starting low is $40 uh, monthly payments, uh, 0% interest, up to six months, 12 months, two years, however you want to do, man. I'm here to help you. I am your tire guy, man, not just your tire guy, but your brakes, suspension, anything that you need for your vehicle. Uh, for you, your family, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, I'm here to help you out. I'm looking at my schedule right now, Rick. Um, let's see what I got going on here. I can do a nine o'clock. I can do a two o'clock this afternoon. Which one works best for you? Uh, let me do nine o'clock this morning because, like I said, I'm passing through town. And what makes you think I need financing? Well, you know, uh, it is just we're here to help you in any kind of way. Uh, it's no offense to you in any kind of way. It's just that we know it's close to Christmas time. Some people want to keep some cash back or help you out. Just uh, We're just here to help you in any aspect, any area. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I can come on in about 9 o'clock. All right, Rick. Well, you see, well, what you get them get that phone number from you? It's 222-222-2853. All right. I got that. Like I said, my name is Chris. When you come in, just ask me. I am your new car guy, and um, I will see you here soon. <laughs> uh, thanks, sir. <laughs> All right, thanks for calling. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, the reason, I, the reason I threw that out there about what made you think I need financing, because I actually had a guy come in here one day, and I was talking to him, and I said, told him, I said, we do offer payment plans. He said, what makes you think I need financing? Do I look like I need it? I said, no, sir. I said, we have doctors, we have lawyers, we have judges, we have all type of people that does our financing. I said, we just throw that out there to anybody. That's the reason I threw that out there, because I want to see what your response was. Yeah. Well, he responded pretty good. What do you think, yeah. Red? Yeah. I thought he I thought done pretty good. Yeah, pretty good response there, I thought, too. I said, okay, yeah, let's see yeah. what happens here. That was good, yeah. Chris, really good. Um, Thanks, sir. Yeah, really I worked, am, the, worked the system well there. He uh, gotten better from the first time. I think he and I did it, and I had to lead him the whole way. Yeah. The very first time, it's been about three or four weeks ago, and uh, he's gotten a lot better. Oh, yeah, he's got, yeah, that's what I'm saying again. Chris it takes it and runs with it. I know that's what's happening, and his confidence level's a lot higher. Don't you agree, guys? Yeah, I think I, yeah. I think I think he did an outstanding job, yeah. and I I could see his practice, his confidence, the pace, his tempo, everything was spot on. Uh, and I love the way he opened it up. You know, he 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 was just some artistic expression going on there too. I mean, he didn't rush it. It was really, really, really well done, Chris. Yeah. Fabulous. Whatever it's worth, I mean. That sounded to me like a typical call that I hear every day from Chris. Awesome. He's putting it on the court, guys. He's putting it on the court, and he's having record sales. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah, the, that's right. That's the thing. Hey, uh, well, Red, I'm, I'm gonna move down. I'm not gonna play back and forth. I'm gonna let you. Um, I'm gonna let Farron Cruz call you, okay? Well, can me and Farron not do each other? Cause we sitting right here beside each other. Well, I kind of like that. Okay. Well, let's just go <laughs> in and uh, let's see. Ian, are you there, buddy? You were earlier. Yes, I am. All right, you call David or Red. Call Red. Right. Ring, ring, ring. Good morning, Triple T Tire. It's Red. I'm gonna help you. Hi, right, Red. I'm looking at getting some new uh, tires for my car. I can help you with that. Who am I speaking with this morning? My name's Ian. Ian, have you done business with us before? Uh, no, I have not. Well, you've called the right place. I'm going to take care of you from anything from your tires all the way down to your belts and hoses. Um, let me look at my schedule for you. Um, Ian, I can get you in today about 9 o'clock this morning or 2 o'clock this evening. Which one works best for you? Uh, I'd rather do the morning. Morning? All right. Uh, anything particular you're looking for for your car, or do you have any kind of idea what you want? Um, no, just, just something that fits. Okay. Well, Ian, we got tires anywhere from uh, $79 up to $199. And, Mr. Ian, we also offer payment plans uh, starting at $40 a month with or without credit. Um, so, like I said, when you come on in at 9 o'clock, we'll get you fixed up somehow or another. And we'll get you taken care of. Okay. Um, do you guys also uh, do brakes and stuff like that? Yes, sir. Like I said, we do everything from tires all the way to belts and hoses to brakes to motors and okay, big and small. We do them all. 
<laughs> All right, that'll work. You said uh, 9 o'clock? Yes, sir. And, Mr. Ann, you know, we have two locations here in Dyersburg. I'm the one uh, south of Dyersburg over here by Delta Chevrolet. So when you come in, just ask for me. My name is Red. I'll be more than happy to take care of you. All right, Red. Thank you. What's your phone number, Stan? Let me put that in my, uh, my notes here. Uh, it's 303-333-3333. All right. Well, Mr. Ann, like I said, we'll see you by 9 o'clock. I'd be more than happy to take care of you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Red. That, that, both of y'all, that was good on the leading in, leading me into the, the backside of that. I thought it was really good asking him about some other things going on. And you know what, Red, when you look at that and you go back, what would you do different? Would there be anything you would do different at this point? I know I jumped around. I, I, I know I jumped around like from top to bottom a little bit. And, and so maybe I should have stuck with no, I, come down. I don't necessarily agree to that. I, I Here's what I hear. I hear I hear the fact that you know the road. You know the road map. You know what I mean? And we right. talk about that quite a bit. That you can exit and get back on. And you can make a detour and come right back to where you're at. You know, find your right. way back. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like the fact that you, you're able to do that. I, I like that. But I think that you knowing that there's more structure could be applied is pretty powerful, too. You know, I, I agree with that. But knowing that it's there guys knowing that you're able to pull these things out of your back pocket and use them is what i'm i'm listing and, and i would be coaching toward that direction is to be able to use all the things that you have available the only uh, question i would have i listen i listened to it intently and i thought red did a fabulous job really amazing energy your confidence level from when we started this a year and a half ago you really are, have become polished the only question i would have this is a real call why did you go back to price he's ready to come in and make an appointment that, that, I know, I, yeah, I, that's what I thought too when I done that. I was like, mm, I, did, I should have said that up earlier. <laughs> right, okay. That's why I said I was jumping around from that top to bottom because uh, I, yeah. I done that price at the bottom. I should have done it up top. Yeah. Well, I, I don't, I don't think you even have to mend if you, if the if the customer. This is real life, right? The customer doesn't bring right. it up. He's he's coming in. Why even go to price? Just stick with. You're the, right. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I and the way you did it was fine. I thought the way you did it worked. But it's just I'm just questioning. Just yeah. giving you I, I see what you're saying there, because yeah, I, I should never went back to that pricing after he was ready to come in, and right. that's why I said I jumped around from that top to bottom. I should have said that that, that dollar amount earlier instead of late. Well, yeah, not necessarily. Even you, like uh, Dan is saying, the dollar amount sometimes is not so much uh, the big issue. You got to remember that. I think we think too much on that when we're going into it. Uh, about right. they're going to want price. And you've heard Brian say it many times. A lot of times just goes to follow the, follow the basic moves, you know, uh, and just tell them, Hey, I've got payment plans starting at $40 a month. That's with, without credit. Good news is I'm looking at my schedule and I can get you in right now or at one o'clock, which one works best for you. Go straight to the close. Yes. Um, because Brian has heard that many, many times work over and over and over again. You've done it many, many times and didn't even realize it probably. And it's worked over and over and over again. Um, so, and then when they go, uh, well, I was kind of hoping I could get some prices before I come in. Oh, I can help you with that. You know, you can go back into your power talk. Right. You know? right. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. good. Good work though, Red. Thanks. Yeah. Thank outstanding. You. Outstanding. Now let's use Farron. Farron's standing right there, sitting right there beside you, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to use Michael standards. Michael, would you call Farron? <clears throat> okay. Go ahead. Ring, ling, ling. Thanks for calling Triple T Tire and Auto Services. This is Varen. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for uh, a set of tires for my pickup truck. Sure, I can help you with that. Who am I speaking with this morning? Uh, this is Michael. Michael, have you ever done business with us before? Uh, no, sir, I haven't. <laughs> well, you definitely call the right place today. Uh, before we get any further, Michael, I just want to let you know I'm your tire guy from now on, so you can't go no anywhere else. <laughs> Reason why that? Because I'm gonna give you the best deal in town. Ain't nobody gonna beat my prices. Okay. We'll see. Right. We'll see about that. Well, I can promise you that. Uh, what size tire are we looking for today, Michael? Uh, 235, <laughs> 70, 16. All right, I got plenty of those in stock. Uh. I got them starting anywhere from 87 all the way up to about 150, which that don't mean nothing. Like I said, I'm going to beat anybody's tire price. Uh, 
<laughs> Let me check my schedule, Michael, and see if I can't get you in this morning. We can sit down and have a cup of coffee and look at some tires. How does that sound to you? Uh, well, I'm kind of busy this morning. Well, it's hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm out. I'm back, out. Just back up. <laughs> you're you're hit. You're hitting a home run. I love what you're doing. I love it. Instead of saying, "How does that sound?" You heard what he said immediately. He didn't think about uh -huh. it. I'm tied up. It's the wrong question. Yeah. You had it. You were making the, you start out again right where you're making the appointment. Forget about that. How does that sound? And just say which works best for you. You see what I'm saying, Farron? Right. Which works best for you, Michael? I can get you in here at uh, eight o'clock. I can get you in at one o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock. I'm I'm tied up this morning, but this afternoon sounds pretty good. Well, that sounds great, Michael. Also, keep in mind if you work close around, I got a driver come out and get your car. You don't even got to come out here. Really? Yes, sir, I do. I've never heard of that before. I, cer I certainly do have a driver. He will come get your car, and we will bring it back to you, and it don't cost anything. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good to know. Like I said, Michael, I'm here, and I'm your car guy from now on. <laughs> All right, so 1 o'clock. Do I need to be there around 1 o'clock? That sounds good, Michael. All okay. Right, All right. 1 o'clock it is. Yes, sir. I'll see you when you get here, Michael. Farron, right. I'm going to stop you right there, Farron, because this is what's so good about this. This is real deal here, Farron. And what you're doing is you're waiting for him to respond. But I want you to take the lead. I want you to take control of it, okay? I want you to hold him by the hand when I can dance, get out on the dance floor and hold him by the hand and show him how it's supposed to be done because this customer doesn't know how you do business, okay? He's asking for your help, and what you need to do is you need to take him and lead him through the procedure. Okay, you did an outstanding job at the beginning, and, and by getting his attention. And what happened was, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but Farron shifted gears. Did you hear him? He did. He, oh, absolutely. Yeah, he shifted that gear, man. He he threw that thing in overdrive, and here we go. Okay. Yeah, because he uh, started off like, this triple D, this is Farron, I'm going to help you. Yeah, yeah. Right. And all of a sudden, he's like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Like, now, 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 I want to challenge you too, Farron, because I love this, by the way, is that when you go into that, if that's your technique, that's fine, sir, because that's okay. It worked for me. But what I want you to do is remember that you can bring that energy from the very first call, from the very first response you get back. Hey, this is Farron. How can I help you? And when you get that customer that, that sounds like he's a little down or a woman or lady or whoever that's down, bring them up because you got it, buddy. You right. got that. Yeah. So I'm going to be your car guy. Okay. Yeah, I want I want some of whatever you're drinking this morning. That felt good. <laughs> it really I did. Want, I want some of that. And and I loved, I'll tell you what, Farron, I love the way you, I, I, I agree with Randy. You could have started out a little more energy, but then you kicked it into overdrive and it woke me up. It woke everybody up. It woke Randy up, right? It was brilliant what you did. So sometimes, guys, I'm just saying this from an artistic standpoint, as a performer, some songs start out you know, and they're soft and they're low and there's, you know, and, and then all of a sudden you, you punch it in. That's, it's a part of it. So I, so I think if, were you trying to do it like that, Farron? No, sir. I started off kind of slow because I'm tired and I had no amount to do yet. And I figured, I said, if I'm going to hit a home run, I better get on that ball. All right. Good. You, you know you what? Go. That's so cool, Farron, because you recognized it. You know, Think about that. There is a lot of power in you just recognizing the fact that you weren't where you needed to be. Right. Don't Dude. you agree? Dude. Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. That's a Dude. big deal. And being Dude. able to, to just reach down and grab it and go with it is even a better deal. Okay. So knowing that you've got it is what's so cool. Okay. And that yeah. you can use it anytime. Yes. And, it's, and that you want to use it. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, just keep going. All right. Let's go on. Uh, Michael Standridge. Hi, bro. Uh, let's see, Michael. Uh, Ronnie B. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, would you, Ronnie. Would you call Mr. Michael Standridge, and he's going to sell it and see if you can buy some tires from him? Yeah, what do you want me to call him? Uh, just call him whatever you <laughs> want to call him. Right? All right. Preferably <laughs> something that we can keep on the recording. Okay? Hey. Bring just be sure to call me for dinner. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, I'm a good cook now. <laughs> okay. Ring, ling, ling. Thanks for calling McKinney Tire Pros. This is Michael. How can I help you? Yeah, Michael, I'm looking for some uh, tires for my work truck. Okay. Who am I speaking with? This is Ronnie. 
Hey, Ronnie, have you ever done business with us before? No, I just moved in town. I opened up the business over on the corner over there, and I heard about y'all, so I thought I'd give you a call and see what you can do for me. Well, Ronnie, you've called the right place, man, not just for tires, but for, for anything that your vehicle may need, okay? And we also have payment plans starting as low as $40 a month with or without credit. I'd love to talk prices with you. In fact, uh, you know, I'm a price shopper myself, so therefore I feel, you know, I like to get a good deal. I like to get a good deal, and I'm going to try to make you the best deal possible, okay? Secondly, I want to become your car guy, okay? doesn't matter what your vehicle needs. I want to be there for you, and I want to be able to, to handle that. Uh, I want you to know that you can count on me for, for life as long as you own a vehicle. That's my mission. I want to be your car guy. Now, what type What type of vehicle are you needing tires for? I got a Nissan Titan. Nissan Titan. I hear that's a great vehicle. I never owned one, never driven one. But uh, anyway, how do you feel about the tires that you have on it? What brand are you currently running? I got some Matchcraft Corsair AXT. I want something a little different. You want something a little bit different? Okay. What What's your driving habits? What What type of driving do you do? I stay on the road quite a bit. On the highway, huh, or on the yeah. interstate? On the, on the well, highway. I've, I've got a lot of good options for you, man, and uh, also great prices to go along with that. So uh, I've got an opening at about 9 o'clock this morning and another one at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Would you like to come down and, and let's look over some tires and see what we can uh, fit on your vehicle? Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Same, there, the same thing. Same thing with, as with Farron, Michael. Not would you like to come down. It puts wrong question. Right. Wrong question. I got an opening. You, you go, you're, you're rounding third base coming home, and then you went back to second base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So there's no need to say, you know, if you'd like to just say, look, I got an opening here or here. Remember chocolate or vanilla. Remember chocolate or vanilla cone. Boom. And just... Go start out right at that point. Go ahead. I've got an opening at nine and one at two. Which one would best fit your schedule? Um, two o'clock sounds good. I gotta get the guys on their jobs and everything. So two o'clock sounds good. Okay, Ronnie. Well, my name's Michael, and uh, for my records, let me get a phone number on you, please. Uh, two 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 two. Okay. Once again, my name's Michael. We'll see you at two o'clock, and just ask for me when you get here. We'll get you fixed up. All right. Ronnie B, I love you. I love you, Ronnie B. Here's the, thing. Here's, <laughs> the, here's the thing. Ronnie is hinting and hinting and hinting, and nobody. Twice. Hinting. Yeah. Twice. I did it twice. Listen, uh, Michael. Here's what. Here, I want you to think back about this, Michael, because this is so much fun for me sitting back and everybody else is listening. Because Michael is focused in on his his presentation, okay? And what he's actually done is he's let two important, at least twice, uh, important things go right by him. Did you catch him, Michael? Uh, apparently, I didn't. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. Hey, I just opened a new business down the road. Okay. Okay. And then he said at the end, I got to get all my guys going on their jobs, and then I can come in. That would have uh, been a great opportunity to say, "Let me ask you a question. What kind of what kind of business have you got?" And then you could go right. into it, and he would have went with you. I guarantee you, I got a fleet. I I run a fleet of trucks, and I got fifteen or twenty trucks. And you go, "Holy cow!" You know what I'm trying to say? I just right. hit the mother load. You know what I'm trying to say? And so yep. that's what he was trying to do. To and I, he was baiting you. He was, and I love it, Ronnie. I know what you're doing, and I <laughs> I, I absolutely loved it. Okay. I, it's funny because I missed it too. No, that's that's what is. I was so focused on what Michael was doing. You know, I'm listening yeah. so carefully. It's also, you know, uh, once you get it in your bones and you don't have to be anxious about following the script, it enables you to listen more, and then you can key into little things like that. I was going to comment earlier. That's another. Uh, good aspect of Chris's call, the fact that he was able to bounce right back with that, oh, well, you know, we have doctors, lawyers, or whatever he said, uh, you know, it's the holidays, but to be able to listen to what the customer said and then react to what yes. you hear. You know, um, I'm going to share something with you real quick before we have to get off and let go, let's move on to the next part here. Is Jeff here with us today? I didn't even look. I've been so excited. Uh, is Jeff doing his training today? I oh, think no, Jeff's Thursday. Thursdays. 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 Cool. 
Cool. Not, not me. That's great. Let me tell you what happened. This, I had to make my dreaded call. I was talking to Dan about it and, and I enjoy these calls. Uh, some of my guys don't to where you got to call somebody that thinks you've done them wrong. That's everything should be your, uh, because you touched it uh, and now it's broke and it, had, you, it should be your deal. And so I, I'm kind of the guy that does that for the company. And I, and my guys do the biggest part when they get into a, a one that they can't seem to go anywhere. I'm usually the one they call out. Not that I'm any better. I just have a, better way of filling things out. And so as I began to talk to this lady, we had a really good conversation. Um, and actually she began to understand things and see things. And toward the end of the conversation, after about, it's a 10 or 15 minute call. Uh, I said, I looked at, I said, Barbara, you're not going to believe what I'm looking at in my lobby. And she'd never been to my store before. And I, she said, what? I said, I'm looking at a goat that's on a leash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's wearing a gray and pink sweater and a diaper. <laughs> and she started, I, she was dead silent. And I said, Barbara, I'm not kidding with you. And she started dying <laughs> laughing. Okay. And I said, she said, only in Sand Springs, Oklahoma, could you see something like that? <laughs> so what happens is, guys, when you get that confidence, <laughs> when you get that ability to be able to talk to anybody, someone that's even mad at you for doing something they think is that's your fault, and you know it's not, but you have that ability to be able to go in and, and have that conversation and carry that power forward. And, and like I said, Farron, lead them. Uh, let them know that you're, you're, it's okay, that we understand how things happen. I'm going to help you. I'm going to explain these things to you. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to be on the side, on your side with you as much as I can. When you have that power and begin to use it, you can come back with stuff like that, even toward the end of, uh, kind of like Farron did it and have a lot of fun with it. And the customer now is on your side. They're not so much mad anymore. Um, and the, the same way is they're not so much scared anymore when they make the call about a set of tires that they don't know, they don't have the money. They don't know really where they're going to get the money and they're looking for used ones or they're looking for one. And all at once you say, Hey, look, I have payment plans. And, and I can get you in a, a whole new set for as low as $40 a month. So let's just not be scared about that right now. Okay. So those are kind of things being able to say those and mean those kind of things are very, very, very powerful. So don't forget that. Okay. Just don't forget that. Excellent. Excellent work, Randy. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> a, a fabulous, fabulous call. Do, uh, do we have time for one more or, or do we have to, uh, a lot of guys got to get going. This is, we've been into it for half an hour. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. We just had uh, Nato just showed up. Nato Garcia just showed up. Yeah, we have time. I, as far as I'm concerned, it just depends on who else is, wants to hang on. Well, well why don't you okay. let uh, Todd? I've, I've got I've got the bail out. So okay, okay, <laughs> all right, buddy. good, okay, all right, bye. guys. Thanks, you gotta Mike. Leave. If you got to leave, you got to leave. If you got to if you could stay, we could do another practice session. I'd like to see Todd Todd work maybe with Nato a little okay. bit. Okay. Todd, are you there? Everybody's there. Nato, are you there? I'm still here, so whatever. Okay, Ronnie, Ronnie B. There. Ronnie's there. Yeah, Ronnie wants to be the call. Okay, Todd, work. Nato. Is it Nato? A Nato, I think he's pronounced it. Nato? Nato. Okay. Well, there he's trying. Hey. Yeah. This is fair, and I'm gonna let Todd use my headset. His headset's not working. Hold on one second. All right, oh. good. I think you should let Ian go. I think Ian, in a short order, has really stepped it up. I mean, it seems like two or three I'm, weeks ago, I could barely even, when he answered the phone, I had to struggle to even hear him. And now he's like, hmm. turned Maggie, it around 180, right, it seems like. Let's and, hear from Ian. Let's hear from Ian then. I want to hear that. Let's go. All right. All right. Ian, Ian and Ronnie. Yeah, cool. Ronnie, you going to call Ian? Uh, yeah, I can call in or he can call me. Oh. Uh, hello, I'm getting too static. Am I still there? Let me call. Let me yeah. call in. Huh? All right. Ring, ring, ring. Okay, Tyler, this is Ronnie. Can I help you? Hey, Ronnie. Um, I need to get some uh, some brakes and some other work done in my car. Hey, I can definitely help you with that. Who am I speaking with? My name's Ian. Ian, you ever done business with me before? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm new to town. Oh, really? Really? What made you call me? How'd you hear about me? Um, just found you guys online. You guys were at the top of top of the list with the best reviews. 
outstanding, outstanding. We got the best reviews for a reason because we got great prices. We also got uh, payment plans starting with or without credit if you need that, Ian. What kind of vehicle do you have? I got a Mazda 6. Mazda 6, that's a good vehicle. What kind of problem are you having with your brakes? Um, Just the pedal feels kind of soft and hearing some grinding. Okay, okay. I can definitely help you with that. Uh, I'm over on the corner of Par and 51. I can get you down now or I can get you down at 1 o'clock this afternoon. If you want to come on down, let me check it out and see what's going on. How's that sound for you? Uh, that sounds good. I can come down at 1. Okay, great. Ian, can I get you, uh, your phone number? Yeah, it's 303-333-3333. Outstanding. When you come down, just ask for Ronnie. I'm going to get you taken care of. Awesome, Ronnie. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks, Ronnie. Hey, listen, Ronnie, you almost did the same thing. You almost. Okay, you kind of you kind of laid the groundwork, but then you says, "How does that sound to you?" Uh, what it boils down to, guys, we got to work on that because I understand that. That's what we're trying to do. But also, if we're mystery shopped, yeah, that's what they they would. You you have to say is this? That's what the mystery shopper tells us. That's what we're graded on. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't ask how that sounds. How's that sound for? You? We're, that's what that's what we're graded on. Just in in my defense and the, these other guys' defense. What, what do you mean Mystery Shopper graded on? Help me out there. We get um, Mystery Shop by Goodyear.com, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And we have to give this spiel about our Goodyear tires, uh, the pricing, with, and whether we got pickup and delivery and stuff like that. And well, you didn't ask how that sounds to the customer. Okay. And we, yeah, we get dot points and stuff for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, Okay. Yeah, but right. at the same time, at the, here, wait a minute, I'm going to say something. At the same time, I understand, Ronnie, I'm not trying to keep you from doing something that you're instructed to do from that side. But at the same time, I want you to understand, it means nothing unless you can get that customer in the door. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it absolutely means nothing. So it, well, asking that, you go, you know, when you do that, well, if that sounds okay with you, here's what I would like to do. That's just basically the same thing, you know, but if I have an opening at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, okay, which one do you prefer? And they go, and then when they ask that, why can't you say, well, if, okay, well, if that sounds good with you, then let's go this way, you know? You yeah, can, I understand you, you can put a spin I'll on have, it. I have to talk. I, I, I didn't know you guys were doing that, uh, Ronnie. I'm going to talk with Jeff about that. Yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't make sense, you know, on some level. I understand what you're saying. It's old school. It's old school. Goodyear is old school, my opinion, studied opinion. I've been doing this for 20 some odd years, work a lot of Goodyear. Uh, and, and if they're teaching you to ask that question, you can only ask that question when you're a thousand percent certain that what you just told them is a, is an absolute killer. Yeah, I realize that's like, that. That's, that's the like only Brian. time you can ask it. Yeah, Brian says it all the time. He hears it all the time. And, and who and I use Brian as my authority on that because what happens is is Brian says that when he hears that people you have to have something very 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 strong, very outstanding for people to go. Yeah, that sounds great. Because it doesn't generally sound great, um, but you know, because you have to have but worse, something. Worse, Randy. Worse. They don't even want to be on the phone with you. No. They don't even want to be there. You know, so it's like you're really playing with fire by asking that question. You know, in my opinion. You know, I'll give you the tires for free. How does that sound? Yeah. Sounds like my worst nightmare. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, I don't want to get hung up on that, but I, that's a very good point, Ronnie. I appreciate you bringing that out because, listen, I didn't know that, and Dan yeah. evidently didn't, and, I, and that's fine because Goodyear is Goodyear, but, right. uh, and, and it's a big deal, uh, but at the same time, maybe there's some ways to work around that that would be is not as, as conflicting. I'll, I'll, I'll talk, Ronnie, I'll, I promise you, I'll talk with Jeff about it, and we'll just see, you know, what's, what's going on. I mean, I, you know, it's, uh, I don't want to be fighting with you. We're saying one thing and he's saying something else, you know, no, that's, without it conflicting, right. we, we want to be going in the same direction. Y'all want to go, Ronnie. Right. So I would say maybe a workaround at least that like we touched on last time is maybe at least put the house that sound after the choice closed. Yeah. Right. I understand, you know, the end result is get him in the, get him in the shop, you know, yeah, you and, almost like I say you didn't do it. You just almost did it, and I, that may be your workaround. I got hey, look, guys. Let's let's not debate this. Let's let Ian go. Yeah, Ian. Oh, yeah. Ronnie, you call in. You call in, and Ian, you you uh, be the uh, shop, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Ring a ling a ling. Hey, we're choosing Family Tire Pros and Parker. This is Ian. How may I help you? Ian, I'm looking for a price on some tires for my SUV. I can absolutely help you with that. How's school I'm speaking with? This is Ronnie. 
Hi, Ronnie. Have you ever done business with, with us before? No, I just opened up a shop around the corner. And I'm just trying to get some tires. Awesome, man. Well, you've called the right place. Um, we have a ton of different tires. Um, basically, our tires are going to start off at about $75.99 all the way up to about three twenty nine ninety nine. And that comes with, you know, as your basic with no warranty. So we have a lot of different options. Um, what are you thinking about coming in today? Uh, yeah, I could probably do that. Okay, that's awesome, Ronnie. Um, I have a couple different options. I have an appointment right now at 8 o'clock, or I can get you in at about uh, 1 o'clock. I can come in at 1. That's absolutely perfect. I will set that appointment for you, Ronnie. Um, can I get a phone number? Uh, 222222. All right, Ronnie, when you come in, just ask for me. My name's Ian. I'll take great care of you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, solid job, Ian. Hey, yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. nice. That was really nice. You're getting it. I think what Brian said is accurate. You know, big. I think it's coming from the top down in that store, too, that whole Parker store. I think Jason and Josh and now Ian, they're all kind of uh, with the program, and it sounds like they're really uh, finding success with it. They yeah. missed it. They missed it. Hey, wait a minute, right? I, I was going to ask Ronnie. Ronnie, so how hey. many cars do you? Have, how many vehicles do you have in your workplace? <laughs> I'm just going to see if he heard it. Yeah, it's. Uh, I love it. I love it because that's kind of, This is how we practice, guys. We practice and we listen and and we get better. Okay, that's what it all boils down to. We don't practice to get worse. We practice to get better. Okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ian. What I uh, my feedback, Ian, would be for you to keep going in the direction you're going. Some mm -hmm. Uh, some uh, just some specific feedback instead of saying a ton of tires I have a ton of tires say I have a million dollars more than a million dollars of tire inventory in my warehouse right that's well, different than a ton of tire which sounds better to you if I say Ian I have uh, I've got a ton of tires or if I say Ian I've got more than a million dollars worth of tire inventory in my warehouse which sounds better a million dollars sounds a lot yeah. better so that's why we say like, it's an assertion, it's a statement of fact, and it's true. You do. In your warehouse, you have more than a million dollars worth of tire inventory. Easy. Seven, many millions at your disposal. Okay. Um, the, the other thing is, you know, what, what do you, what do you, th you, you asked, when you went to close the appointment, you, you said something that wasn't real strong. I'm trying to remember what it was. What do you, what do you think? Well, you said something I. It was one of those work for you or something like that. What, what do you think about? Oh, I know. You said, what do you think about coming in later? It's the, it's the, what do you think about coming in today? Again, the, the, the dance here in is to make a commitment to the customer. When you say, what do you think about coming in today? You're asking the customer to make a commitment <laughs> to you. What you want to be able to do is practice saying, look, I've got the technician. I've got the alignment rack all scheduled, all set up for you. I can take care of you at 1 o'clock or at 2 o'clock. That's me making a commitment to take care of you. I'm not asking you to commit to me. It's a, it's I, a big distinction. Yeah. Go ahead. Ronnie, you want to say something? Oh, he's in his day already. He's working. On Ian, does that make sense to, to you what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that that's why I went. I started off today's session for you guys, for you especially since you're relatively new at this. Practice box one, practice box will become a master at box one. Then practice box one a, become a master at box one a. Then practice box two, right? Practice box two and become a master at it. Then work on. Then go back in and work on your power talk. You you can't do you can't do this all in one bite. It's too much. Can I, can I say something in real quick? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've been doing this for a long time. Um, at first, I was nervous. You know, you are nervous. But if you act like you're talking to one of your friends, your best friend, like he was just trying to sell your buddy a set of tires, then it will, it will flow easier for you, and it will calm you less. There was a kind of little stutter over your voice, um, like you're venturing out into the unknown because you didn't know me. But if you treat everybody like you know them, It'll, it'll work better for you. They're going to start getting easier. Yeah, good idea, Ryan. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Any anybody else? I think we're we're over over time quite a bit. Fifteen minutes here, Randy. Yeah. <laughs> so Ian, great work, Ian. Really good work. Yeah. 
Fabulous. Everybody, everybody did a great job today. Thank y'all guys. It makes my day when I get on here and y'all do this kind of stuff. It makes me laugh. makes me feel good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good yeah I just have a good time. Excellent so, call. I hope everybody right. had a good time. Yep. See y'all next time, guys. Thank you, Ernie. See you. Bye now. Thank you, Thank you guys. Be good. Bye-bye now.